You're watching 8 Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna be playing a very popular character who actually surprised me before that he actually had an arcade game because I guess he's more popular on the console. Uh, this is Mega Man. And this is actually sort of like a fighting game, or you may call it like a boss rush. So you choose, you still choose who you're gonna face, and you're gonna face him immediately. I'm gonna go with uh, Mega Man One and Two here, since everybody knows the robot masters from these games. So we're getting guts, man. So as you can see, we don't have to go through a level anymore. And we just have to fight him immediately. Um, this did not release get, get released on the um, PlayStation. But I think it was like a hidden game on one of the collections on PlayStation 2. Or was that like a Japanese version e exclusive? I can't actually remember. And this game is actually also playable with uh, two players so you can choose Proto Man or base to accompany Mega Man here hey they're using crash clash man's music on woodman and uh, yeah, if you're playing with two players, you can. Uh, I guess it would be a lot easier since there's the two of you. <laughs> and ah, uh, just to show you that you can still retrieve the robot master's uh, weapon. You can select it. Uh, it's kind of just kind of hard to go over because you don't have like the menu. And um, having a hard time with my configuration because I'm playing with default and don't want to mess with it anymore but it makes your well, for me at least, it's kind of the reverse of what I'm used to. The X button is the shoot and the square is the jump. And I'm more used to the other way around. But anyway. And to show you that even Proto Man can have the Robot Master's uh, weapon. Okay, next up we have Crash Man. I seem to be in like Dustman's stage or something. Well, at least there's some variety on the levels. Now let's see what. Oh, wait. Leap Shield. Let's see how this works. Uh, very weak. 
So I'm not sure if the rock, paper, scissor mechanic still exists because you cannot choose who you're going to face off anyway. So you may end up fighting with uh, someone that sh you don't have the weapon that he's weak against. All right, cut man. All right, I'm switching to base. Just to show you all how he looks like. He doesn't have the double jump though, or the eight way direction shooting that he has on uh, Mega Man 9. Oh, wait, it's not 9. Mega Man in base was it called. I, uh, I used to call it Mega Man 9, but. Uh, they actually came out with the Mega Man 9 that came out on the Wii Virtual Console. And I used to call Mega Man X 10. X being the Roman numeral 10. Anyway, that was all my canon... head canon, I mean. Of course, that's not the case. Let's see... Ah, forget it. <laughs> I die before I'm able to find out which one is his actual weakness. Of course his uh, weakness in Mega Man 2 was the bubble lead, which I don't think exists on this game. So I think you can go to Wily Castle now. Ah, uh, there's one more. Oh, it's Iceman. Oh, I, uh, let's try out the... Urgh. See, no, even the Heatman's weapon isn't his weakness. So you, you, I kind of wonder if there's any advantage to using uh, your special weapons against these robot masters. Oh wait, well this one seems to be weak against this one. Alright, well there's a use for them. But since you're not able to choose who you're gonna face off, it doesn't really matter. So you'll probably won't have the weapon he's weak against. So you're gonna have face a few bosses on this one. And again, it's straight to the boss. There's no stage. Let's see what he's weak against. If I can actually hit him.
So when you think about it, the game isn't really that hard. Um, as with any Mega Man, when you once you learn their like how they move, which directions they usually go, their patterns, it shouldn't be any problem anymore. problem is more of the configuration right now and I'll just leave it as it is so we can just move along Capcom seems to love bosses like this So I think uh, there is also a boss that moves uh, kind of similar in uh, uh, Ghosts and Ghouls. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh wait, oh, I think this is his weakness. Ah. There you go. And I guess that's it. Um, quickly finish the game. Of course you can retry the game using the other Robot Master selection. 3, 2, 6 and then 7. I'm not sure if there's going to be difference with the endings though. And alright, I think that's it for this video. This is Mega Man the Arcade running on the PlayStation Classic and it's running fine. If you have any games you'd like to see, just leave it on the comments, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.